Kilohertz Slice EQ is a versatile equaliser plugin for Mac and PC, featuring six parametric filter types, a spectrum analyzer, frequency spectrum referencing, mid-size processing, graphical and knob-based editing, and more. Let's take a tour. The first thing you might want to do with Slice EQ is adapt it to your on-screen workspace. Dragging the bottom right corner makes the window bigger, and adjusting UI scale enlarges or shrinks various elements of the interface. These are both global settings that are stored for all future instances of the plugin. It's also worth noting Slice EQ's contextual help system, which reveals info on whatever's under the mouse pointer at the bottom left corner of the interface. Slice EQ comes with a small library of presets, accessed via the preset browser in the top bar. Click the preset name field to open the browser and click a preset to load it. Your own EQ curves are stored in the user presets folder or any number of custom named subfolders within it. The top bar is also home to the undo and redo commands. the AB comparison switches and copy controls, and the clear button, which resets Slice EQ to its default filterless state. At the bottom of the interface, alongside the UI scale setting, are controls for adjusting the resolution of the spectrum view and the spectrum falloff rate, and changing oversampling settings if required. The right-hand edge houses gain and wet-dry mix controls, and a pop-out panel for knob-driven tweaking of all loaded filters. Slice EQ features two toolbars. Various tools and stereo editing controls are selected in the vertically arranged one on the left, and contextual options for the current tool appear in the horizontal one at the top. Dominating the Slice EQ interface, the main view is where the equalization curve is shaped by adding and manipulating up to 32 stereo filters. Frequency is plotted on the x-axis, expressed in hertz and kilohertz, while gain is represented by height on the y-axis, described in decibels. Calling up a filter is as simple as clicking the center line in the main display with the edit tool selected in the left-hand toolbar. There are six filter types to choose from in the top toolbar, plus the magic wand auto option. With the auto type active, the kind of filter you get depends on where on the center line you click. From 20 to 30 Hz, a high pass filter appears, while from 31 to 70 Hz, it's a low shelf. Peak is the order of the day from 70 Hz to 7 kHz, followed by a high shelf up to 15 kHz, and a low pass anywhere above that. The graphic over the unrealized filter node indicates the auto filter type at any given point on the line. Alternatively, call up specific filter types by selecting them in the top toolbar prior to instantiation. palette adds notch to the five types already described. To edit the cutoff frequency of a filter, drag it left and right. To change the gain, drag it up and down. Slice EQ not only shows you the exact frequency at the mouse pointer position on the horizontal axis, but also the musical note value of that frequency. 
The amount of cut or boost applied is similarly exposed in the vertical axis gain scale. To adjust the resonance, drag the filter up and down with the Option key held, or scroll your mouse wheel or trackpad. And to change the roll-off slope, which ranges from 6 to 96 decibels per octave, hold the Control or Command key while dragging the filter. Finer adjustment of cutoff resonance and gain is achieved by holding the Shift key down, and multiple filters can be shifted and sharpened together by drag selecting then editing any one of them. To zoom the main view, scroll the mouse wheel on the frequency and gain axes, or drag up and down in the window with the zoom tool. To pan the view, click and drag on the two axes, or drag in the window with the pan view tool. Double click either axis to reset the zoom and pan on that plane. Clicking the filters tab opens the filter list. Here, the cutoff frequency, gain, resonance, and roll off slope of every filter in your curve are represented as a set of knobs in a numeric field for more traditional style editing. To bypass a filter, click its blue power button, and to delete it entirely, click the X button top right, or select it in the main view, singly or in a group, and hit the delete key on your keyboard. By default, Slice EQ operates in linked stereo mode, i.e. each filter works on the left and right channels together. To separate the two channels for independent equalization, click the Edit Left or Right button in the left-hand toolbar, or press the Tab key to toggle through them. Now dragging an existing filter splits it into two in both the main view and the filter list. The right channel filters and curve are shown in green, the left channel is shown in pink, and newly created filters are assigned to the selected channel. You can change an individual filter's channel assignment at any time by clicking its stereo left or right button in the filter list. Switching from left-right to mid-side mode in the menu at the bottom of the left-hand toolbar reassigns the left channel to the mid and the right channel to the sides for discrete EQing of the mono and stereo portions of the signal. Again, these assignments, colour-coded blue and orange, can be freely changed for each filter in the filter list. Slice EQ's Spectrum View visualizes the equalized signal with the same coloring for left, right, mid, and sides as the filters and response curve. Helpfully, a reference spectrum can be overlaid onto it too, using the reference tool in the left-hand toolbar for matching the frequency content of one track to another, preventing clashes, etc. Choose from a library of genre-based factory profiles,
create and load your own user profile by analyzing any WAV file, or feed in a live external sidechain signal. The reference spectrum appears in white with the reference tool active and knocks back to grey when the edit tool is selected. As well as being a VST, audio units and AAX plugin, Slice EQ is also a snap-in module for Killerheart's free Snap Heap modular effects rack. Hosting Slice EQ in Snap Heap enables, amongst other things, automation of all editable parameters by Snap Heap's many onboard modulation systems. With Slice EQ loaded onto a Snap Heap bus, select a modulation source from the tabs at the top, click the Sources Modulation Assignment button, and set the modulation amount for your target parameter using the orange dial next to it. Simple. So that's Slice EQ from top to bottom. Thanks for watching.